James, congratulations on the win and the goal. First of all, let's talk about the winning goal. Talk us through it. Yeah, it's, it's nice to, to get on the, the score sheet early doors. Um, you know, Snoddy was putting in some great roles. First half that, that we couldn't quite get on the end of it, unfortunately, with his injury. Um, Quinny's come on and, and took his place and, and carried on where, where he left off. And, you know, thankfully, I've, I've lost my man and, and stuck it in the net. Yeah, lost your marker, who was Rio Ferdinand. I've seen a few comments already on uh, social media, gloating from City fans <laughs> about that one. What, what were your thoughts when you, you saw he was marking and, and you've managed to evade him? Um, you know, it, it didn't really matter to me who was, who was marking me as, as long as it, it went in the back of the net. You know, I was lucky enough to, to grow up as a, a kid watching Rio and, and being able to take ad, advice from him. So, you know, without that in my career, you know, I might not be, be where I am today. So I owe him an awful lot, but, you know, it didn't really matter to me who was marking me. Did you exchange a word with him? Um, no, just at, at the end of the game, you know, I wish him all the best. I'm not sure he, he was too pleased. <laughs> but... Um, no, like I say, I owe him a lot, and you know he's had he's had some career. So in all seriousness, in all seriousness, when I can put my teeth back in, uh, big win for you to start the season. Just how important was it to get off to a final yeah, it's, like that? It's massive. We didn't we didn't win too many games away from home at all last season. So to get one in the the first game of the season, and you know to get that with the the five or six weeks of hard work we've had in in pre season building towards this, it was it was nice, and you know to come here. A newly promoted team, and, and even so early on in the season, to take three points off them. It's you know it's a huge boost. Something tells me you're going to be featured quite heavily on Match of the Day tonight, <laughs> not just because of the goal, but the penalty decision as well. Was that a handball in your your view? <laughs> no, I'm 100% certain it it wasn't handball. You know, <clears throat> it didn't hit me hand, and you know if, if it had done, uh, my hands are right by the, my side, so I'm not sure what what the ref would would want me to do. But you know, Griggs is Griggs is bailed us out as he, he has done. You know, many times last season, so you know it would have been a shame if that decision had cost us the three points. But you know, thankfully it hasn't. What did you say to him <laughs> afterwards? <laughs> I think I think he, he told me that I might owe him a pint or two after that. But um, no, like I say, he's done that for us us many a time, and you know, I spoke to the ref at the end of the game, and you know, asked him to watch it again because I'm pretty certain that it didn't touch my hand. Okay. How tough was that a game at times? Yeah, it was. It was difficult. The gaffer had a few words to say at half time because. For the last 20, 25 minutes of the first half, you know they were better us than us all over the field, and you know he had a few words to say about that. But I think in the second half it was a, you know, a, a different game, and I think we dominated for for large periods. And when we got the the goal, we we sat back and, and managed to keep them at bay. You mentioned Robert Snodgrass and losing him, and then you lost Alex at half time as well with Paul McShane coming on. Did that change anything in terms of the dynamic of the defence? Um, just with Alex coming off, I I went into the, the middle and Curtis went over to right and and Macker as he as he's done, you know, the whole time I've been here, he he's never let anyone down when when called upon and you know I'm pleased for Macker because he, he's worked really hard, you know, through through pre-season and you know he performed. Well. How big a win's this? Yeah, it's it's massive. Like I say, you know, even early on to, to come to a promoted team and and take three points off him in the the first game of the season. It's nice for us and it, and it puts us on a, a nice platform to hopefully build on that. Interesting week as well with Shane Long departing. Were you surprised by that? Yeah, I was. It seemed to, to happen so quickly. There wasn't, you know, even any, any rumours about that. You know, we were were off on Tuesday when when the news broke, and you know, I thought it was just a, a daft rumour going around. But you know, that's that's football, and you know, it's, it's probably good business for for the club with the, the profit turnaround in in five or six months and. You know, Longy will have his, his reasons for going there and, you know, I, I wish him all the best with that and, you know, he, he scored some important goals for us last season, which, you know, we're all thankful for. But maybe more players still to come in and with the squad that's already been assembled, what, what do you make of what Steve's put together this season? Yeah, I think since the gaffer's come here, he, he's, he's brought players in, you know, particularly well and, you know, I'm sure he won't let Longy go if he didn't have, you know, something in the back of the mind, so... No, it's exciting as a squad to, to, to hopefully see who, who we will bring in to replace you. The manager said before this that the ones who didn't or the ones who did feature today wouldn't feature on Thursday uh, in, in the game against Lochran. How disappointed are you? Would you? How much would you like to be involved in that one again? Yeah, you know, I'd, I'd love to play. You know, um, there's not too many of us played in in Europe, and it's a, a great adventure for us all as a as a club. And you know, since I've come in, I've just said I wanted to play in as many games as possible in the next game's Thursday. So I'd love to be playing.